Is your PC feeling slower than it should, like apps take forever to open, or your games feel laggier than usual? Here's the wild part. It might not be your hardware at all. Most people don't realize how much hidden junk builds up over time, from leftover system files to buried cache data that silently chokes your performance. In this video, I'll walk you through a deep, system-level cleanup for Windows 10 and 11, the same steps I use to speed up PCs without messing with risky registry hacks or third-party bloatware. Whether you're gaming, editing, or just browsing the web, this can make a massive difference in how responsive your machine feels. Step 1. Clear temporary files. Free up space instantly. Let's begin by clearing out your system's temporary files. These build up over time and can slow down performance or take up valuable space unnecessarily. Click the Start button or press the Windows key on your keyboard. Type in the following exactly as shown. Percent temp percent press enter. This opens your system's temp folder, where Windows stores temporary files created by apps, installers, and system processes. Once the folder opens, press Ctrl plus A on your keyboard to select all files inside. Next, press the delete key. You may see a prompt asking for permission or showing some files can't be deleted. Check the box that says, do this for all current items. Then click skip for any files that won't delete. Those are likely still being used by active apps or the system, and that's totally fine. Step two, clear the Windows temp folder. More hidden junk gone. Now that we've cleared the user-specific temporary files, let's go after another hidden stash. Windows system level temporary files. These are stored in a different folder and can take up just as much, or even more, space over time. Press Windows plus R on your keyboard. This opens the Run dialog box. In the box, type the following command. Temp, press Enter, or click OK. If you see a prompt asking for administrator permission, click Yes or Continue. This is totally normal. You'll now be inside the Windows Temp folder, which contains temporary files created by the operating system and various services. Press Ctrl plus A to select everything in the folder. Hit the Delete key. If you get a message saying some files can't be deleted, that's expected. It just means those files are currently in use by Windows or another running app. In that case, check the box, Do this for all current items. Then click Skip to continue deleting the rest. Step 3. Clear prefetch files. Fix app launch lag. Next, we're going to clean out the prefetch folder, a special directory Windows uses to speed up how quickly your apps and programs launch. But over time, it can become cluttered with outdated or corrupted entries, especially if you uninstall apps or switch between different versions of the same software. Press Windows plus R again to bring up the Run dialog box. Type the following command. Prefetch hit Enter, and if Windows asks for administrator permission, go ahead and click Yes. You'll now see a folder filled with files ending in PF. These are prefetch files that track how applications load, so Windows can try to preload parts of them the next time you open those apps. Press Ctrl plus A to select all files. Hit the Delete key to remove them. Can't delete some files? No worries. Just like before, Windows might prevent you from deleting files that are in active use. If that happens, check Do This for All Current Items, then click Skip. Step 4. Remove old Windows update files. Free up GBs instantly. Now let's clear out leftover Windows update files. These can silently pile up over time, consuming gigabytes of space and sometimes even causing update glitches. Open File Explorer, Windows plus E. Navigate to the following path manually. This PC, Local Disk, C, Smiley Face, Windows, Software Distribution. Download or copy this path into the address bar and press Enter. C, Windows Software Distribution Download. Once you're inside the download folder, press Ctrl plus A to select everything. Press Delete on your keyboard. What are these files? This folder stores temporary update installation packages downloaded by Windows Update. Once updates are installed successfully, these files aren't needed and can be safely removed. Step 5. Clean up File Explorer history and reveal hidden file extensions. Now let's clean up your File Explorer's cluttered memory and enable visibility settings that help you spot suspicious or unnecessary files, especially helpful if you're managing system junk or watching for malware. Clear File Explorer history. Open any folder or launch File Explorer, Windows plus E. Click the three-dot menu at the top ribbon, then select Options. In the General tab, look for the Privacy section at the bottom. Click Clear next to Clear File Explorer History. Step 6. 
deep clean with disk cleanup utility. Now that you've manually cleared out temp files and system leftovers, let's use Windows' built-in disk cleanup tool to safely remove even more junk, including old update files, log files, error dumps, and in some cases, previous Windows versions that can take up tens of gigabytes. Launch disk cleanup. Click the Start button and type Disk Cleanup, then press Enter. When prompted, select your main drive, usually C. Disk Cleanup will take a moment to analyze your drive. Enable Deep Cleaning. After the initial scan, click the Clean Up System Files button in the bottom left corner. Choose the C. Drive again if prompted. This time, it scans deeper, including system-level junk. Select what to delete. After the second scan, a list of file types will appear. Recommended boxes to check. Windows Update Cleanup. Previous Windows installations can be 20 minus 30 gigabytes. Delivery optimization files, temporary Windows installation files, system error memory dump files, temporary files, recycle bin, tip. Hover over any entry to see a description of what it is and how much space it's using. Final step, clean it up. Once you've selected everything, click OK, then choose Delete Files to confirm. Depending on how much you're deleting, this might take a few minutes. When it's done, you'll likely have reclaimed several gigabytes of space and possibly improved your system performance as a bonus. Step 7. Flush DNS for faster browsing. Open Command Prompt as Administrator, search CMD, then right-click Greater Than Run as Admin. Type this command, ipconfig slash flush DNS, press Enter. You'll get a success message. This can fix slow or broken website loading. Step 8. Reset the Microsoft Store Cache Open CMD as admin again. WSReset.exe, hit Enter. After a few seconds, the Microsoft Store will open automatically. This confirms the reset work. Step 9. Clear your browser cache. Edge, Chrome, Firefox, etc. Open your browser's settings. Go to Privacy or Browsing Data Settings. Choose Clear Browsing Data. Select All Time for the time range. Check Browsing History, Cache, Images, and Files. Uncheck Cookies if you want to stay signed in to websites. Click Clear Now. Step 10. Clear GPU Shader Cache. For NVIDIA users, press Win plus R and type percent local app data percent. Go to the NVIDIA folder and delete its contents. Navigate to percent local app data percent dot local low NVIDIA DX Cache. Delete all files in DX Cache. If a few files won't delete, skip them. Those are in use. Use Storage Sense. Storage Sense automatically cleans junk files on a schedule. Search for Storage Sense. Click Turn on Storage Sense or go into Storage Settings. Here you can View what's taking up space. Automatically clean temp files. Delete old recycle bin items. Review large apps and uninstall ones you no longer use. Be cautious. Only remove software you recognize. If you found this helpful, go ahead and drop a like. Subscribe for more deep dive system tweaks and let me know in the comments what kind of improvements you noticed, whether it's faster boot times, smoother gaming, or just a cleaner experience overall. Stay safe, stay optimized, and as always, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.